What's going on YouTube OCD for EDC here? What I've got for your face balls today. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite knives really of all time. Uh, this one has been near and dear to my heart uh, ever since I saw the first ones. Uh, this is actually a knife that I didn't know about until the thing was sold out. And I think uh, that I probably fall into, uh, you know, a pretty large category of people that we're not even aware of this knife until the thing had been out for, for quite some time. And then, uh, you know, it was sold out at that point. And the reason that nobody really knew about it was because it was sold exclusively through one Spyderco dealer in Syracuse, New York. And the name of that dealer is Freyden Lock. It's spelled F-R-A-D-O-N. Uh, and it is a small family locksmith business that has been around, I think I saw on their website, they've been around since 1966. So certainly been around for uh, quite some time. Business is, uh, you know, quite a bit older than I am. And they, uh, you know, have all your traditional locksmith uh, type services and, and whatnot, you know, automotive and commercial residential they do i think they sell safes i'm pretty sure uh, for various applications and whatnot uh, but then they also sell uh you know kind of high-end pocket knives um i well obviously they sell spider co they also sell i'm pretty sure they're a medford dealer and uh, maybe zt there, there was a handful of brands that they carry uh, but you should go and check out their website i'll throw a link to their website uh, down in the description and then they also have an e-commerce site that is called like safeandlockstore.com, I think is what it is. But either way, I'll throw links up in the description so you guys can go and check out Freight and Lock. So anyway, this knife right here, this is the Spyderco Manix 2. Uh, this was a dealer exclusive, like I said, through Freight and Lock. And you can see here it has marble carbon fiber scales. It is a CPM. 4v blade right there as well as it has the hollow ground blade and so because of those options on this Freden lock exclusive manix 2 now this one has uh this is the black aluminum ball cage and then of course it's got uh our manix upgrade kit in it if you want to go check those out on our website uh ocdfreedc.com there's my email address right there but we have a Manix upgrade kit that uh, softens up the spring, puts in a uh, ceramic ball, and then you can also pick up uh, these uh, ball cages from Flytanium, which hopefully those will come back in stock at some point. It's been, yeah, kind of, uh, it's just been a long wait uh, getting ball cages back in stock. I'm not sure what we have in stock right now. My wife's the one that manages all the inventory. So you can check on our website if we do have some ball cages left. Um, they're really great. But, uh, you know, the, the little uh, uh, upgrade kit works with the stock ball cage as well. So this was the Freyden Lock Manix 2. And like I said, it's one of my all time favorites. I love the hollow ground blade. I love the Manix 2 period. It's just a fantastic knife. One of my yeah, favorite designs. And then this one is just made even cooler with the 4V blade steel and the marble carbon fiber. Okay, fast forward many years. Um, I don't think these sold all that well for Freyden Lock. Uh, kind of the story that I had heard was and it was really just because nobody knew who Freyden Lock was, you know, just people local to that area. And so this actually sat in stock at Freyden Lock for quite some time before they sold out. Uh, and there just wasn't many people that knew about it. Uh, but then now it's kind of got a cult following at this point because it was such a cool version of the Manix 2. And of course, at this point, you can't uh, find these things anywhere. So I was lucky enough to get this one. Uh, I did get it used, um, but as you can see, it is in pristine condition. I do carry it. Um, so, you know, it's not like it's a safe queen or anything like that, but I do try and keep it nice as well. Like I'm not uh, going out and just really beating on this thing, uh, but it's definitely something that does get pocket time for me. Well, 
like I said, fast forward a handful of years and we've got another Frayden Lock dealer exclusive. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I would have expected it to be, you know, very similar to this, but this is what we got. And it's a cool knife. Uh, let me, I'm going to pull this paperwork out here. So I'll hold this up. You guys can uh, check it out. You can pause right there if you want to uh, read all about the Frayden Lock dealer exclusive. This is a PM2 and it has the marble carbon fiber, which is absolutely gorgeous. This marble carbon fiber has a little bit of a texture to it where the original Manix 2 does not. This is just smooth. Um, it's, I, I doubt very much you'll even be able, oh, I guess you can kind of see it. There's like lines uh, going vertical uh, across the handle. And yeah, you can kind of see it right there. But it gives it, you know, it's just not so slippery. Um, you can barely see it in person. I mean, you got to kind of hold it in the right light to be able to see the texture, but it's definitely, it works well. So this is the knife right here. And uh, I was a little bit surprised when I opened this up and one, I saw that it was a Frayden Lock exclusive as well as the blade steel here is Elmax from Bowler Oodleholm. Ud uh, LMAX is a fantastic steel, uh, so certainly I'm not complaining about the LMAX. Uh, you know, Spyderco has done historically a good job with LMAX as far as the heat treat is concerned. But generally speaking, when you have these dealer exclusives, especially when, you know, you have companies like Blade HQ who do a bunch of different dealer exclusives, but one of them that they've done for a long time is doing Jade G10 scales, then this is Blade HQ but with CPM M4 blade steel. And, and they've done that in a whole bunch of models, you know, pretty much across the board and even with some FRN models and they're doing like a mint green uh, FRN, but they always do uh, M4 blade steel and they'll do it two ways generally. They'll do a, a satin blade as well as a coated blade. But in this case here, Frayden Locke decided to get away from the 4V and they went with LMAX. Which, you know, certainly, like I said, um, <clears throat> I, personally, I would have rather had the, the 4V just because there's not a ton of it out there. Uh, but I think it's kind of an interesting steel. However, LMAX is definitely a good choice as well. Spider Code uh, certainly has worked with LMAX in the past, but it's not one that they do often. So, yeah, definitely a really, really cool knife here. But these are the two Frayden Lock uh, dealer exclusives that I have one in 4v one in L max. And you know, the PM two is a great, uh, great knife. Obviously, you, you know, everybody's familiar with the PM two. It is uh, a compression lock knife. So if you want to pick up a CME and I have, this is a carbon fiber CME right here. It's actually glow, glow in the dark carbon fiber. So you could add a little pop of color. If you're interested in picking up a CME, go check out the website, ocdfreedc.com. And yeah, here's a whole bunch of CMEs right here that are ready to go. And then here's a bunch right here. Here's a bunch of carbon fiber ones right here. So here, let me grab one. <clears throat> Molly's getting ready to uh, stock some orders. But that's what that'll look like with a carbon fiber CME on it. And like I said, it also glows in the dark. So very cool and, you know, fits this knife extremely well. So if you have a Frayden Lock PM2 and you want to pick up a glow in the dark carbon fiber CME for it, we got you covered. Put that back. Right on. Well, um, yeah, I just wanted to show off these two Frayden Lock knives. I thought they were really interesting. I think it's a, a pretty cool, you know, little set to have. It would have been cool, you know, like Blade HQ did the uh, uh, Tonto blade on the PM2. I, that would have been awesome to have a little bit different blade shape or something. But, you know, I do like it in its current configuration and I really like the texture on the handle. I'm pretty sure these are sold out at Frayden Lock. But, uh, you know, if you really want one, I'm sure you can find one on the secondary market. But there you go. 
these are the Freight and Lock exclusives. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just a short little video looking at uh, two really cool knives that have come out from Spyderco. Thanks so much. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>